Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Super Kids. It's a creative speech contest. What? Yes, it's gonna be very creative, and these amazing kids around me are gonna do that creating with some very amazing ingredients. Well, before I give you too much information, I think you should see the amazing course, the intense course, the intense path that they took to get to this spot. Check it out. It was finally the time for the 2009 English Creative Speech Contest. Applicants from all over the country crowded the contest site. How did they come to be here? Just before testing time, how does it feel? As soon as the test began, the 300 participants immediately became silent. The air was hot with excitement. How did it go for the students? A special Christmas gift for the finalists. A great experience for all applicants. Here's to hoping for a great year end event. All right, now it's my honor to introduce our amazing expert panel of judges who are going to give points to the students for their creativity or mark off for their lack of creativity. Let's meet them. First and foremost, Professor Lim Mira from the Division of General Education at the University of Aju. Welcome. Next, we have Professor No Bo Gyeong from the Korean English Department at Seoul University of Foreign Studies. Thank you for coming. Professor Kim Eun Yi from the Department of Communication follows from the University of Incheon. Next we have Mr. Richard Mathias from Avalon English, the head foreign teacher at Pyeongchon Ivy Campus. And last but not least, Professor Kim In Ok from Chuncheon National University of Education, the English Education Department. Thank you for coming. We also have a 10 student panel. They're also experts in their own field, and they're going to be giving points as well. Thank you, our 10-person uh, panel, for coming. Please give high scores. Three rounds. This is how they work. In round one, they have some hints. Got to guess what it is. Possible 10 points. Spelling counts. Round two. Got a silhouette. Got to explain what it is. Possible 20 seconds and 20 points. Finally, round three. Add up one and two. Choose a good three. One minute to talk, 70 points maximum. It's going to go fast and furious, 100 points total. It's going to be awesome. Okay, how are they going to judge? Let's ask our head judge. How are you going to judge? The English Creative Speech Contest is different from your usual English speech contest. We are counting on your imagination and creativity. It will be a great chance for you to have fun on TV show off what a creative mind you have, and even improve your English speaking skills. All right, now our five expert judges will provide 80% of the points. Our panel of students, 20%. That equals 100%. Good luck to all of our participants. Let's get to number one, Jiu. Hi, Jiu. Hi. Uh, how you feeling being part of this creative speech contest? I feel really lucky to participate in the first creative speech contest in Korea. Well, thank you for coming. Are you ready for the first round? Yes, I am. Okay, let's get to the first round. My face is yellow and full of seeds. I appear in many Van Gogh paintings. I'm really tall and always stare up the sky. Do you know what it is? Sunflower. And how do you spell it? S U N F L W O E R. Oops, kind of mixed up a couple letters there. You got the right one, so you get five points for that. That's correct. 
Little nervous sunflowers, right? Let's go now to the second round. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. Now you're going to be given a silhouette and you have to explain what you see. You'll see it and then you get 20 seconds to talk about it. Maximum 20 points. Here is your silhouette. Think about it and talk about it for 20 seconds after that. Take your one minute now. Three, two, one. Tell us what you see. When I see the silhouette, I see a starfish having time as a dinner because a starfish has five arms and it has four arms and one arm on the top is um, covered by the starfish and the clam is round so it covers the starfish one of the arms and a starfish feels like it has the dinner. All right, very good. 20 seconds up, very creative. Let's see what your score is to you. Thank you very much. Wait a second, we're gonna tally the scores. 15.6, that's pretty good. Good job. Okay, now we have to go to our third round where we have a couple of pictures. You get to choose one, matching your first round one and round two answers together because you need to create one big story. I'll give you some time to think about what you wanna say for one minute. I'll give you three minutes to think, one minute to talk. Now let's see the board you have to choose from. So in round one, you had sunflower, round two starfish. You wanna find something that fits with those somehow. It'll help you with your story. Here are the possible shapes. Choose one. Number three. Number three. There it is. I'll give you three minutes to think about your story and then give you one minute to talk about it. Three minutes begins now. Three, two, one. Please begin your story. Once upon a time, there was a starfish which, near, which lived near a, shore, a rectangular shore of a land. And the starfish was very lonely. It had no friends and no other sea animals to be friends with. It often ate clams for dinner. However, a sunflower seed was carried by the wind and was carried away into the rectangular st stretch of land which the starfish lived near it. And the sunflower grew and grew and later grew into a yellow plant with a lot of seeds. The starfish was delighted and thought the sunflower was his friend. And the sunflower died after one year and left behind many seeds to become many sunflowers. The starfish was very happy when he saw the field of sunflowers all yellow in the sun. Later, the rectangular stretch of land was known as Sunflower Island. Okay, very good job. Thank you very much. Okay, now the judges are going to tally up their scores and we'll find out what your total is. Okay, let's see what the score is. 62 points. Very good. Now, we're going to give you the total points from round one to end three, here is your total due. And the total is 82.6. Very good. I really like this story. Thank you very much. It was very creative. It's time to meet Subin. Hi, Subin. I heard you like ice skating in Kimyana. Tell us why. Uh, despite her hardships, she never gave up and became the best figure skater in the world. So I look up to her. All right, well, don't give up. Do your best. Are you ready for round one? Okay. Okay, let's go to round one. I am born in the winter. Although I have a body, I am not alive. I am white and round. Snowman. S N O W M A N. Let's see. Yes, indeed. Perfect. Excellent. You got it and spelt it correctly. 10 points for you. Good job. Yeah. Pretty easy. Yes. Let's go to round two. I'll give you one minute. Look at the silhouette. Think about it. And I'll give you 20 seconds to talk about it, okay? Yes.
Okay, 20 seconds. Let's hear what you see. I think it is a toy of my younger brother because uh, it is a girl and it has hair like this and it has no arms and legs. So I think the toy is similar with that sil uh, silhouette. Okay, time's up. Thank you for your answer. Now we're going to have the judges give their scores and see what you get in the second round. Okay, totaling 11 points, not bad. Now round three. Remember, you have to match something with the first and second rounds. Let's see what you got. Snowman, toy, and you can choose from some pictures. Mm. Go ahead and choose one. Number one. Number one. With the snowman and the toy, you're going to create a story. I'll give you three minutes to think about it. Yes. Maximum three minutes, starting now. Three, two, one, go! There was a girl named Lisa. She thought her toy was alive. One day she made a snowman with two circles. Uh, but the snowman wasn't alive, so she brought her toy and put it in the snowman. Uh, she came back to her home. While she was sleeping, the snowman appeared in her dream. She was very surprised, but snow the snowman uh, came close to her and said like this, Thank you for making me alive. Uh, I will help you in the future. Lisa was very happy. When, when she woke up, the snowman was disappeared, but she was very happy to meet the snowman in her dream. Very good. Excellent story, snowman, toy, and circle. That's the story. Now let's see the score. For that third round, 48.7, very good. Now, we have to tally first, second, and third. Let's see, you see your grand total. Total is 69.7. Okay, not bad. Presently in second place. Good job. Thank you. Our third contestant, Jong Il. In the future, I heard you want to be a chemist. Why is that, Jong Il? Because I want uh, the the earth is polluted, then I want to make non-toxic uh, chemicals. Then I want to prevent the earth. Okay, prevent pollution, protect the earth. Very good. You ready for round one? Yes. Okay, here we go. Round one. When I'm closed, I look like a crane. When I'm open, I look like a mushroom. I am busy when it rains. Uh, um, is it umbrella? Yes, it is. Can you spell it, please? U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A. Very good. Excellent. Okay. You made it. So. Let's see how you can do in round two. Here is your silhouette. Hmm. You have one minute to think about it, prepare your answer, and then 20 seconds to talk about it. Okay, let's begin your 20 seconds. Mm, I think the like a rope uh, shape is um, like a mental rope. Then uh, people always bring it, but uh, when uh, I think when we uh, miss that uh, rope, then uh, we will uh, do mistake well. Okay, time's up. Let's see what scores the judge give you. 10.4, okay, now it is time for our third round. You want to combine the first two? Let's see what you have so far. The two words, umbrella and mental rope. You want to choose something to help make a big story. Here are some images. Your choice is 
Eight. Going for eight, the exclamation point. Combine it with the other two. Now I'm gonna give you three minutes to think about it. And create a story, starting now. Three, two, one. Begin, please. Mm -hmm. All people have a mental rope, uh, but sometimes uh, he, uh, they didn't bring or uh, miss it. Uh, an example, uh, when, uh, when, it, uh, when it's raining outside, but didn't uh, bring some umbrella or uh, some, uh, uh, some uh, sea, uh, 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 just uh, see uh, good things uh, for uh, them, then uh, like that, then uh, mm, uh, then we can we make many mistakes. Then we must uh, I think we must bring uh, our uh, mental rope and hold it. Okay, future chemist or future philosopher. Let's see what the judges give you. Let's check out your score. 32.2, now we're gonna add up all the rounds for you and see what your total score is. Total is 52.6. Okay, so ji still in the lead. Very good job. Thanks, Tong Yil. Okay, we're going to our expert panel now. We've had three contestants. We want to see how they feel about uh, how good of a job they've done. So we'll go to two professors now, Professor uh, uh, No Bo Gyeong and Professor Kim Eun Yi. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, I'm very impressed at their creative answers. And usually every contestant get nervous at the beginning, but actually they did a good job and their performance was excellent. I'm also very impressed by your performance, and especially first round, second round, you did excellent. I understand third round might be a little difficult because it requires a lot of thinking as well as creativity, but under the circumstances, you did excellent. You actually uh, uh, exceed my expectations. I feel the same way. A lot of pressure, very creative, excellent job. Let's have contestant number four come out. Hi, Dongju. I heard you have a special hobby. What is it? Uh, my special hobby is just dancing freely around. Dancing freely around. Well, now it's turned time to uh, talk freely around, very creatively. <laughs> Here is round one. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go to round one. I'm green when I'm born, and I turn orange as I get older. People like to eat me as soup. In Cinderella, I turn into a carriage. Your answer? Uh, pumpkin. And it's spelled? P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Very good. Bingo, 10 points just like that. Great start. Let's go to round two. You ready? Yeah. Round two, you'll see a silhouette. Here is your silhouette. Think about it and talk about it for 20 seconds after that. Take your one minute now. Three, two, one. Tell us what you see. I think that is um, the uh, spot of sp spilled, o spilled oil. And it's um, on his clothes because um, um, he, uh, the person, was had a mistake and he spilled his oil in his clothes and that looked like that. Okay, nice. Well, let's see what the judges think about your answer. Very creative. We're going to get the scores for you. 17.4. Not bad. Okay, round three. We're going to put them together, see what you have. The images you have, pumpkin and spilled oil. Let's see if we can find another image. You can choose one among these. What's your choice? Um, I will choose number six, heart. Number six, heart. Okay, three minutes now to okay. do some cooking in your head, and we'll give you a minute to talk about it. The clock starts now. Three, 
three, two, one, begin. I made a story about modern Cinderella and um, the fairy godmother changed pumpkin into a car. But um, poor Cinderella, the fairy godmother made some mistake and the oil in the car was spilled into Cinderella's dress. But um, the prince liked Cinderella and they were happy at the party. They they married and um, Cinderella said thank you to fairy godmother. Um, and um, the Cinderella was very, very happy and they lived, uh, the prince showed fingerprint like this heart to Cinderella and they lived happily ever after. Okay, you're all done. Very good, very creative. And we will see what the judges give your creative story. 60.4, very good, very high. Let's get the total total, all three rounds. Remember, our leader right now is Ju with 82.6. Let's see what happens with Dongju. Total is added up. And it's 87.8. Now our present leader, very good. Congratulations, very creative, very good. Thank Did you. your story with room to spare. Excellent. All right, well, stay tuned. Here is our next competitor. Thank you very much. Jun Sok, welcome. I heard you want to be a writer in the future. What kind of books do you like? I like the book The Last of the Mohicans because it has a lot of stories of tragic deaths and love. Tragic deaths and love. Okay, well, are you ready for round one? Yes, I am. Here we go, round one. Ding, ding. I am filled with numbers. Those numbers range from 1 to 31. 12 months live in my body. Calendar. Good, spelt. C-A-L-E-N-D-E-R. Yeah, the last one is D-A-R, not D-E-R. So we can't give you full 10 points, but let's go to round two, where you'll be given a silhouette. You're shown a shape. Here is your silhouette. There it is. I'll give you a minute to think about it, and then 20 seconds to talk about it. Your minute begins now. Three, two, one. Please begin. I think I see the bottom part of a golf club and it is about to put a golf ball out of the bunker. You're all done? Okay. Very good. Let's see what the judges give you for that creative answer. 18.5, very high. They like golf. Okay, third round for you. Let's see what you have so far, the images. Calendar and golf club. Now you want to put together with those another image. Here is your choice. Choose one, please. I'll choose number eight. Number eight it is. Put it together with the others. You have three minutes to think about it and then tell us your story. Three, two, one, begin. A golf player was polishing his golf club for the famous world golf game. He looked at the calendar and thought, still a month left, I have to practice more. But then, he strange, he stared at the calendar. How weird, it, it wasn't, the, wasn't November past? He looked horrified, he circled the wrong date. He quickly carried his golf club and hopped into his car. Then he drives right to the game place. He arrived there before time, but he was a little shaken, and ha before he had the first place, he had second place. Okay. Junsuk, excellent job, very creative. Let's see what the judges score and the panel scores. We'll add it up and see what your place is. 66.1, not bad. Not bad at all. So we gotta add up all three rounds and see what you got, Chun Sok. Right now, Dong Ju in the lead with 87.8. Let's see if Jun Sok can do better. Total is, here it 
comes 89.6. Wow, really good. 89.6. I was just thinking that uh, the spelling of calendar hurt you five points, but still in the lead. Very good job. Creativity is our theme today. And we have someone here who's super creative and super magical. Please welcome Kim Jong Soo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Super Kids Creative Speech Contest. Well, we got five contestants, and we have six more to go. But before we go on, let's have some fun. That's one, that's two, that's three, and last but not least, four handkerchiefs. Well, to be honest, you need to, be, you need to use imagination to be creative. Because actually what I'm holding right now isn't a handkerchief, it's a ball. Well, you don't seem to believe me, do you? Because actually, I think if you use your imagination, this will start to look like a ball. Yes, because if you use your imagination, it will turn into a ball. <laughs> now this is not the start, well this is not the end. Actually I brought something very, very big. It's a sketchbook. And over here, thank you Mr. Wuck. Over here, now, over here I, during the speech I saw people using shapes, so today I like to use the shape of my own. Now let's use our imagination. Over here, I have a pen. What is this? Circle. It could be a circle, it could be a hula hoop, it could be a frisbee. But I think this is a ball. What kind of ball? It's a bowling ball. As I told you, use your imagination. Now, does it look like a bowling ball? Well, if you really want to need a, well, if you really want to make it look like a bowling ball, you need to use your imagination because it's called a one, two, and three. Whoa! A real bowling ball. Of course, as I told you, over here, use your imagination. And that's when you clap your hands. As I told you, always use your imagination and you will have a creative life. This was Kim Jong Soo. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jong Soo. Very good. Magic, creative. We love it. And uh, the bowling ball, I hope it didn't damage our stage. All right, we've got, uh, let's see, Junhee now, number six contestant. Hi, Junhee. I heard that you want to be like Martin Luther King. Yeah, I do. Why? Uh, because Martin Luther King dedicated his whole life to the eliminate, eliminate the racial discrimination between the black people and the white people. Very lofty goal indeed. Great role model. Okay, are you ready for round one? Yes, I am. Okay, let's go to round one. I can move up and down, but cannot move sideways. There are numbered buttons in my body. I am used mostly in high buildings. Elevator. Spelling? E, L, E, B, A, T, E, R. A little bit off. You got it right, but the spelling wasn't right. Uh, Yes, indeed. Okay, five points there. Ready for round number two? We're gonna mm -hmm. give you a silhouette. Yeah. There it is. You got one minute, then we'll ask you for a 20 second explanation. Please begin. I, I think that shape looks like an eye of a human face, um, that black 
it looks like uh it maybe it looks like a black black sheep but it's uh, in my opinion it is an eye without with eye and a white part of the eye okay 20 seconds up juni yeah. we're gonna see how the judges like your answer all right it is 9.5 all right now let's take the two images elevator and the one you just created an eye and we have to add it with another one to make a story so here is your image buffet. Please choose one. Number 10. Number 10, okay. Crescent moon. Let's see what you can make with that elevator eye and moon. Three minutes to think about it. Three, two, one. Please begin. Uh, in the far future, Science technology was developed. Therefore, <clears throat> uh, the human found a star where living creatures are living. Um, but at that star, creatures are, were really unique. For example, the creatures were similar with human, but they only had one eye. And other things, they only had one arm, one, <clears throat> one ear, and one leg. And there were at that store, there were elevator, but there were only one elevator, so creatures could only go up or only go down. At there, there, uh, at Earth, there are moon and sun. There are two stars we can see, but at that <clears throat> star, they can only see moon. So night was always <clears throat> there. Were it was always night at that star. Okay, that's the story. She's sticking to it, Juni. Good job, let's get the scores. 43.5, okay. Now, we have to tally first, second, and third. Let's see, you see your grand total. Round one. Round two. Round three. Let's see Juni's total, which is 58, okay. Very good job. Our next contestant, Sujin. You know a lot of languages, but you want to study more this winter. What do you want to study and why? I want to study Russian and French because currently I am learning Russian in my school and I want to develop my um, skills in Russian. And I also want to learn French because in UN, uh, French was uh, admitted as the second language, which is the most important language in the world. C'est vrai. Okay, well, you know how the, the rounds work, right? You ready yeah. for round number one? Yeah. Let's go to round number one. I'm on the news every day. Everyone is always curious about how it will be like tomorrow. Sometimes I am rainy, sometimes I am sunny. Your answer? Weather. How do you spell it? W-E-A-T-H-E-R. 10 points just like that, very good. Round two, we start with a silhouette. Here it is. Think about it and talk about it for 20 seconds after that. Take your one minute now. Three, two, one, please begin. This is the arch-shaped arch uh, paper in the cardboard between the cardboard box. This is to hold the cardboard from um, to not collapse. It is used as an arch shape because the arch shape is most strong and it holds um, many weight by just one piece of paper. Okay, very good job. Very good use of the time. Let's see your score. 16.3, not bad. Not bad, okay. Now we take those two images, weather and arch, Put them together with one of these images. Your choice is? Number one. Number one. With weather and arch, three minutes to think about your story, how to put them together. Three, two, one. Please begin. Today, California has a terrible weather. A few days ago, 
A few days ago, there was a horrible tornado in California. However, today it rained and wind, wind was blowing. There was this beggar on the street and he was too cold but didn't have anything to uh, uh, didn't have anything like a blanket to support himself from the wind. He found this cardboard box and he cut it and made a blanket. He uh, went to sign the cardboard box and tried to protect himself from the wind. From, however, from the sky, this basketball uh, fell down, which was blown away by this kid when the tornado happened. It fell down and it right shooted the beggar. However, the arch-shaped cardboard protected the beggar, and so therefore the beggar didn't die and survived out through the wind and the rain. Okay, time's up. Very good. Let's see how the judges like your creative story. 63.9, okay. Pretty good out of 70 points. Let's add up all the rounds. <coughs> Round one. 10 points. Round two. 16.3 and round three. 63.9 totaling. 90.2, yes, just above Junsok, who had 89.6. Now our present leader, very good, Sujin. I like the killer basketball from the sky story. <laughs> okay, great job. Let's have our next contestant come on out. Hi, J1. I heard you like to travel. This winter break, got any special plans? Yes, during the winter vacation, I'll experience uh, Greece and Egypt culture, and I'll also go to Turkey, which has both Western and Eastern culture. Wow, okay. Sounds big. Well, we've got a big round for you. Round number one. You ready? Yes. Here it is. Round number one. My legs are thick and my ears are big. You can see me often at the circus. I use my nose like a hand. What is it? Elephant. Spelling? E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. Yes, indeed. Close one there. You got it. Ten points. Nice start. Let's see your silhouette. There's your shape, your silhouette. You got one minute to think about it. Three, two, one. Please begin. I think it's for babies to ride and because it looks like the Upper part looks like the covering the baby's face from the sun and they ride on the bottom part. Okay, there you go. Let's see what the judges think about your answer. That should be 15.7, very good. All right, now let's see the two images that you have thus far. Okay, you've got elephant and thing that babies ride. Let's see another image, you get to choose one. What's your choice? Number five. Number five, okay. Good luck. I'll give you three minutes to think about your story and then give you one minute to talk about it. Three minutes begins now. Three, two, one. Please begin your story. Oh, uh, there was the baby elephant, uh, which was born uh, about right now and the mom elephant wanted the, wanted her baby elephant to ride the things that babies ride so at that time there was a war between the people so they were really scared and mom, mom elephant put the belly pea elephant in the right and then he, she took to the park and Baby elephant didn't ever saw the clover and the people were shooting the gun but it was coming to baby elephant but baby elephant looked down to look at the clover so it didn't got a shoot so he was alive. That's it. Very good job. Like your story. Let's see how well the judges like your story. Forty-nine point seven. 
Okay, so now we gotta add up round one, two, and three and see what your total is. Round one, 10. Who was 15.7? We just got 49.7 totaling 75.4. Okay. Not bad, J1. Okay. Done a great job so far, our contestants. Let's see how the judges like what they've done. Let's ask Mr. Richard Mathias what he thinks. Well, I think it's a very challenging task to take three unrelated topics and weave them into a story. So I think these students have all shown some very creative and quick thinking skills, and it's very admirable. And I'm also impressed with these kids' personal stories. We have students here that speak Russian and soon to be French. We have European travelers. And we even have a student who will be the next Martin Luther King. So I would say both these students' character and their performances have been quite admirable thus far. Absolutely right. Let's get a comment from our student panel. Speaking on behalf of the panel, I think you should all be very proud of yourselves today. You were super confident and super creative storytellers, and we're really enjoying your stories. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. We have more contestants, so don't change your channels. Don't go anywhere. Here's our next contestant. Uhyun, I hear you are a big fan of classical music. Is that true? Yes. Do you play music? Yeah, I play piano the most of the time. All right. Well, are you ready for round number one? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Here it is. Good luck. I was born to help people do work. I am usually a playmate for children. The mouse is my friend. What's your answer? Uh, my answer is computer. Okay, and how do you spell that? C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Very good. Ten points. Boom. Nice start. Now, round number two. Let's see the silhouette. There it is. You got one minute to think about it. Twenty seconds to talk about it after that. Three, two, one. Please begin. I think it is the hat of Abraham Lincoln. Well, in the pictures known today, Abraham Lincoln wore one of those hats and he kept lots of papers in his hat. So I think that silhouette looks like a hat of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, let's see what the judges think about your answer. Wow, 19.6, very high. All right, Uhyun. Let's combine those images. Let's see what you got. You have computer and Lincoln's hat. One more image and then you can cook. Let's see what the choices are. Please choose one. I'll choose number nine. Number nine. Okay, add that with the other images. You have three minutes to create your story. Good luck. Three, two, one, go! There was this boy who was a descendant from Abraham Lincoln, so he had a Abraham Lincoln's hat. Also, he was addicted to computer, but had a bright mind like a sun. Well, every day, the boy played computer, but his mom wanted to, him to stop. However, he kept playing computer and playing and playing, and he kind of got confused, and he didn't eat for three days, only playing computer games. Then one day, somebody called out, hey, isn't that Abraham Lincoln's hat? Well, the boy wondered who Abraham Lincoln was. So he used his computer to find out who Abraham Lincoln was and learned about him. He now knew and learned what a great person Lincoln was and became one of the most influential people Thank in the you. world. Very good, very good. A minute is up and judges are now going to give you their scores. Time to check out the score for the third round. 60.7. Not too bad. Now, we got to total up round one, two, and three. See what the total is. Right now, Sujin in the lead with 90.2, I believe. 
Will she maintain the lead or will Uhyun overtake her? Round one, 10. Round two, 19.6 very high. Round three, 60.7 totaling. Oh, 90.3, 0 0.1 points higher right now. It's Uhyun in the lead, very good. Sujin, nice try. Well, still in second place. Let's have our next contestant come out, see if anything more exciting happens. Next contestant, come on out. Okay, Sonu, which person do you respect the most and why is that? I respect my older brother the most because since he was close to me, he naturally became my role model. And after he went to high school, it was very good for me to see him do things in passionate. Okay, now with passion attack, round one, you ready? Yes. Go, go, go. I am in art museums. I live inside frames. I am drawn by watercolors or crayons. Your answer, please. Picture. Can you spell that? P-I-C-T-U-R-E. Is that right? Yes, it is. Bingo, 10 points. Nice start. Round two, we start with the silhouette. Let's give it to you. There it is. Think about it for one minute and then talk about it for 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Please begin. I thought it was a frog because usually in cartoons and especially in Korean cartoons, they usually emphasize the eyes of the frog like that a uh, syllabus looks like. It has two uh, eyes on top of the face. That's the answer. Let's see the score. Totaling 16.2. Okay, so what do we have? We have picture and frog. And we need to find another image. You get to select it. Here is our board. Please choose one of these. Number 10. Okay, there's the image. Put it together with the others. You have three minutes to think about your story. Good luck, Sanuk. Three, two, one, go, go. Uh, if you take a photo of a frog crying in the middle of a pond in, while the weather is raining, and you see it as a picture from the photo, I feel very depressed and like, like it gives a mood of like sad and like dark. And if you think of that, I also think of night and the moon represents the night, which is very dark. And if there's no light, it is very sad mood and deep. And those two just come to my heart when I just see those two. Thank you. That's it? Yes. Okay. There's a story a bit sad. Let's get the score and see how he did. Okay, let's see the total. 45.0, not bad. So we gotta get the total of the totals. First, second, and third round totals coming up. Round one, 10 points. Two, 16.2, and round three, you just saw 45. Add them up, folks. What do we get? It's 71.2, okay, not bad. Very good. All right, let's get a comment or two from Professor Kim in Oak. Everyone did a fine job in making and delivering their own stories. In English language-wise, the children showed their uh, great comments of English grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. In content-wise, the message, the and the stories the children delivered in the second and third round were creative, genuine, and fun. 
Uh, one thing I like to wanted to see more was some expressions. There are facial expressions and some change of tones and some gestures. But mostly, everyone did a fine job today and all deserve a big round of applause. Thanks. Let's do that. They deserve it. Let's give them some applause, every one of them. Yeah. OK. Now we have our next contestant who's going to give it a try. OK, Yuna, you're not the least, but you are the last. And I heard you love languages. How many can you speak? Five. Wow. Tell us what they are. Um, I could speak Korean, English, Chinese, Japanese, and lastly, Spanish. Amazing. OK. So you ready for round one? Yeah. Let's go. People are always trying to climb me. I offer fresh air. I turn people's voices into echoes. Oh, my answer to this question is tree. Is that the right answer? Ooh, no. It is mountain. Mountain. But uh, yes, trees do give fresh air. Echoes, though, mountain. OK, now we're going on to our second round. Let's see the silhouette. There it is. Check it out. We've got a minute to think about it. And then we'll expect a 20 second story. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Um, this silhouette reminds me of a piggy bank. Well, a piggy bank is um, very helpful to us because you can save money, and when you save a lot of money, it kind of makes you happy. So, um, this silhouette also makes me happy because, you know, I can think of my money um, piling up in the piggy bank. Okay, let's see if your talk made the judges happy. We'll check out the score. 18.7, very high, very good. All right, now, so far, you have mountain and piggy bank. Those are the two we're gonna work with. Mountain and piggy bank, but we need one more before we make the story. You get to choose an image. I'll choose number 12. Number 12. There it is. Put them all together. You got three minutes to think about your story. Three, two, one, go. Well, I think life is like three things. First, life is like a mountain. When sometimes you go up and sometimes you go down. Um, well, also I think life is like a piggy bank. When you work hard, do your best, it all piles up. And lastly, I think life is like a melody. Um, when you th think in a positive way and you think everything is just wonderful, life really is wonderful. So these three, three words and um, words and signs, mountain, piggy bank, and a musical note, it reminds me of the three things life has. So um, based on these three things, I will live a fascinating life. Fascinating talk. You done? That's it. OK, let's check out the judge's score on the life talk from Yuna. Totaling 66 out of 70. So let's add up the rounds. First round, not so good. Stupid mountain. Second round, pretty good. And third round, very good. But Yuna knows about life going up and down. Pretty high score, 84.7. Our creative speech contest is over, and the winner is Uihan. Congratulations. Yeah. Very good job, very creative, good mind, a lot of great stories, and uh, we learned a lot of lessons. So, how do you feel? I feel great. And uh, any words from mom and dad? I really love you. <laughs> parents and um, I think the reason why I'm up here holding this really big thing is because of your encouragement and all the love that you gave me. Very nice answer. A hundred points for that answer. 
And of course, thank you very much to the people behind the scenes and here on stage, the panel and the judges for all your effort and your good words of wisdom. You guys have a good time? Yes. You want to come back sometime? Yeah. Okay, more creative and hopefully you do too. We got to go. Bye-bye. Super Kids Creative Speech Contest has some very special prizes to give away. First, a family tour ticket to the Philippines. Second, a Nintendo Wii. Third, Child U Online Education Online Membership for a year. Look. Really good. Dad. Yes, indeed. Thank you.